as you can see i have already inserted the database and i have created a pie chart with the help of visualization tool from this point we'll create our first dashboard according to our available database for now i'm leaving this short as it is and uh, would like to view my actual data in the data tool when clicking on the data tool you can see all the data has been visible for us and as i stated earlier that when you whenever you input the data into the power bi so the actual data comes in a link form originally the data resides in that source from where you input the data like in our case we input the data from the excel and our original data is over there all right then you can experience that whenever you click the cell so you are not able to change its values but if you want to change the name of the column so you can do that easily by double clicking over there on uh, on the column and update the name months and press enter but for now i do not want to change the name of the column for instance i need to analyze my data for manipulation so i make it back and uh, here you go now the quantity of the rows that you just inserted can be seen down here uh, we have 28 rows and it's from coming from the sales database here i would like to highlight one of the best things of the power bi that there are no limitations of the rows and columns of the database we can fetch crunch manipulate and we present with the help of the chart the data of unlimited rows and columns now when i experience my small database i have a data set in which i have a data from different quarters like one two three four the sales of the quarters present in different months like uh, january till december the sales of the different regions like north east west south the sales of the different states managers salespersons category subcategories quantity unit price and discount price and the sales or you can see actual price and i have to create a dashboard of this database and you'll see that all the activity can be done in around eight to ten minutes so what we're going to create we'll see how much the sales have been placed within these scenarios for the creation of the dashboard i click on the left side of the report i already have the pie chart of the sales per region i will leave as it is second i wish to visualize the sales by manager i click on the manager and sales amount like over here manager and the sales amount so drag it up and if I increase the size you can see over here that the sales of the manager are visible in the tabular form over here but here I would change it to a clustered column chart clustered column chart here so you can see over here uh, it is a graphical representation and uh, I put the cursor on the edge and I in and I increase the size of the little bit or you can say I, I can decrease the size as well now under these managers there are different salesperson working so I click another type of the uh, another type of the chart like a tree map I select different salesperson and the sales here we can drag and drop uh, these fields as well so I will squeeze a bit or expand this one to the width of the window so here comes the result 
here you can see that those field persons have uh, uh, more sales are coming on the first and those who have low sales comparatively are coming in the last and here on the right side we when we insert the database all tables are coming in the alphabetical order so you can drag and drop the fields and you can also check the fields over here now I wish to see the sales of the different states I've adjusted the columns so I can see the sales and other I can see the another chart for us now I click the sales and the states and select the gauge now I select now I have to make make some space so I want to get this one shifted to left now I select the total quantity with the quantity the gauge again so one thing to remember that whenever you select a graph before selecting it you will have to click on the blank space in order to have a new visualization like here I selected this visual now for another graph I would definitely click over here to have another one but if I don't do it will select the previous projection automatically so moving forward you can see I have quickly created a dashboard here and uh, here and now I would like to have heading of this dashboard so I will adjust uh, this a bit so it can have a good visualization I will go to my home tab and then the text box here you go cloth sales dashboard I will write cloth sales dashboard and then will increase the f I will increase the font size more I will make it bold make it center mm -hmm. I will paste it over here again I will make it a bit small and click click on this to make on the same size that fits okay that's great so guys within no time you can see I have established a dashboard in this video we learn about the fields and experience the behavior of the different tools of power bi and created a beautiful dashboard